Hey everyone, welcome to another video from Logic Ops Lab. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up VS Code for Python. All right. So as you can see on my screen, there are three things that I have mentioned over here. But uh, yeah, I'll be teaching you how to set up a VS Code for it. But uh, there are three things that you need to know. Before that, uh, that is one one thing you can see that Python installation. Second thing is writing Python programs and the third thing is running the Python programs. Okay, so one way is to do with VS Code, but I'll tell you three ways in total. And if you want directly for the VS Code part, you can skip to the end end solution. All right. So uh, there are three things that we are going to talk about th today. So the first thing would be through Notepad++. I'll tell you how to download it. So Notepad++ is an open source. You can use this. And uh, this is you can download your system and you can install it and then start using it. Second is the idle, which is by default provided by when you install Python. So this is by default. And the third one is the VS code, which is the main motive of this video. So VS code integration. OK, so this is what we are going to do today. All right. So if you already know this and this, uh, you can just directly skip to this uh, to towards the end of this video and you would be able to do that. OK, so uh, if you're new over here, I would like to request that kindly subscribe to the channel because it motivates me to create more content like this. All right. So without further ado, let us dive right into the video. So first of all, go to your favorite browser and type python.org. So this is an official website. So you have to go there and look for downloads. On your right, you'll see Python 3.1.0.0. This is the latest version at the time of making of this video. Just download the file and save it. This can take time depending on your internet speed. I'll just fast forward it so that you guys can save some time. So this you can see that it has been download downloading over here. Once downloaded, just double click over here and it will ask for the permission to get it installed. I have multiple screens, so it has given me pop up on the other screen. I'll just drag it down. Add Python 3.102 path. This is very important. Just add it because we want to run it from anywhere from the console. Once done, click on install now and wait for some time. It might take some time and I'll just fast forward it so that we can go forward. So you can see that it is getting installed. Yeah, it's done. Once done, just click on close. Everything is done. Now we'll check and verify. So go to your start button and type CMD in order to open the command prompt. So once done, you just have to type. Let me just increase the size so that you guys can see it properly. Go to font and increase the size. I hope you guys can see it properly now. So if you are seeing on mobile, let me increase it more. So I'll choose 28 over here. Perfect. I think you guys can see it on mobile as well now. Perfect. Uh, now you have to type Python space hyphen hyphen version. Hit enter and it will give you the version that we just downloaded and installed in our system, which means the installation is completed. Now we'll move on to the further steps. Let me minimize everything because I do not need it right now. Right click over in your desktop or anywhere and create a folder. We are going to put everything in this folder in order to make everything perfectly fine. Just name it Python for beginners so that you guys cannot forget that you have created a folder and your code be in this folder. Go inside the folder and right click. Click on new and create a text document. Now we'll just change the extension and make a first Python file. So just give first.py. py is the extension of Python file. So you just have to give that. But just check in the view. Let me just expand it. Perfect. So what you have to do is just check in the view whether the extension is enabled for you guys or not. So let me check over here. Show file name extension should be on. My file name extension is not on right now and I'll face an error. So I'll show you what error can be faced. First of all, open it in Notepad++ and let's write some code over here. We'll write a very basic thing because we just want to test. So type print and inside the brackets, give single inverted comma and in there you can write hello comma world. We're just going to print that because we just want to run it. All you have to do is save the program and just minimize this. Once done, 
you can open a command prompt over here or a windows terminal over here once you do this is a powershell windows terminal you can run it over here and there is other option as well so i don't want to use it right now close it open command prompt from start button you can open as an administrator this is also fine now you have to reach over here so just copy the path where this file is present go back to the terminal give cd which is change directory and give the path and hit enter now type dir over here because we want to check whether the file is there now you can see the file name is first.py.txt which means my extension is not on and this program won't run because it's a text file not a python file go back to view go back to show and click on file name extension now you can see that it's a text file just remove that .txt from there and .py is the extension it will ask for it click on yes and you can see the ui has been changed which means we are perfectly all right now all you have to do is just type python space and give f i and just hit tab and you'll get the name hit enter and you'll get hello world which means our first program is run so congratulations you have just written your first python program and just executed it this is perfect now there are several other ways to do it click on start button and type idle or id this is integrated development environment for python and it comes by default when you install python once done it will open a shell for you you can see it right now it's a shell so whatever you execute it will appear over here so let's open this file go to file and open and look for this file in the desktop we created a folder python for beginners and first.py when you open it you can see on your right the id is open over here so there is a command print hello comma world just run it click on run run module and you can see hello comma world is printed on my shell which means this is one another way to run it you can use this way or the console way let's type something else and let's try to print it again type the print command so you can see that something is printed over here this is called as call tips so this will give you an idea on what are what is the correct syntax again just run it and then it will automatically save it unless you can just save it and you can see that high is printed over here perfect then we have run it now just make i just want a peculiar thing about is the color is green and purple why this is known as syntax highlighting so this id provides a a way so that before doing an error you can just identify the color is not proper properly printed and you, you just saw so it is black over here which means that there is some issue with your code and you do not run your program because there is something wrong but if you try to run it it will show you an error which is this so this is just one way your ide shows you that your program is correct by not highlighting your syntax which is wrong in nature so this is one another way of doing it now go to let me just increase the size so that if you are seeing it in mobile you can see go to options configure ide and there size now increase the size to let's just say 22 and let's see how big it is okay so this is kind of big right now and and if you want to go back to different size or some other size if you don't like this go again options configure and choose a lower size i'll choose 16 apply and okay perfect and then you can just run your program and see it properly so i hope you have understood this part as well now we are going to talk about the third thing first of all let me tell you how to download notepad plus plus in case you want to write your programs in notepad plus plus just click on downloads go to the latest release there are multiple options over here 32 bit and 64 bit depending on your system download the appropriate one i'll download the 64 bit one installer click on it and then it will start downloading it is just a 4 mb file so it would be pretty fast on your right you can see that it's getting downloaded i'll just fast forward it in order to save some time once done 
click on that file and start the installation let me show you how it looks like so once the installation started it'll ask you this choose english next i agree this is the path that it's going to be installed next nothing next next and just finish it that's all i've just fast forwarded it so it can take some to one or two minutes in order to get it installed so this is fine so you can use this notepad plus plus in order to make your in order to write your program now we'll talk about another id which is known as visual studio code it's not an id it's just an editor so click on that the first link download visual studio code it's available for mac linux and windows as well it's really nice the first option is windows dev rpm mac just choose the 64 bit user installer for windows this is windows 11 so just download it it will take some time to get downloaded because it's around 76 mb on your right you can see i'll just fast forward it done perfect click on it and then it will start downloading once done start installing except this is the basic path do not need to change it you just need 303 mb of space next in case you want to create a desktop icon you can do that let it be like by default i'll just check it next install and it will take another one or two minutes to be installed in your system after installation just launch it and it will show you a very nice beautiful ui and very simple so that you can edit your programs or your code over here so just close this and let's there are two things you can open a file or a folder so if you write a new file it will come over here you can save it later if you open a file this will be the file it will pick only one file which is this one but we don't want to do that we'll pick the whole folder so open folder and then choose the folder from python for beginners select folder and the code everything that's inside will come yes i trust the author this is one time process that's all you have to do and the first dot py is over here we'll just run it and on your right down you can see that it has recognized that there is a python file and it asks you to install a extension for that this is perfect after installing that it will take some time i have just fast forwarded it first dot py and we'll just run it click on terminal and a new terminal so there are multiple terminals over here on your right you can see that it's powershell so just type again the same command let me remove this because this code is not correct remove it save perfect now type the same command over here python space first dot py and hit enter will it work let's see so it says python was not found run without arguments to install from microsoft store or disable the shortcut from setting manage app execution alias but is it a partial problem let us try the same thing on command prompt we'll just write again the same thing python space first dot py hit enter again the same issue now it is giving you the solution as well all you have to do is go to your start button and then we have to fix that type manage app execution aliases and hit enter once it opens for you go down and look for python and just switch it off that's all you have to do minimize this and just try to type it again it is showing some error so what what went wrong over here it's not taking the path just restart your visual studio code and type the same command but let me check the version first so let's see what's the version over here so it has shown me the version now type the same command python space first dot py hit enter and it will show you the result perfect now we have done everything correct all you need is a restart over here now I hope you guys have understood it. We have talked about a lot in this video and we have talked about how we can execute a program through Notepad++ writing, through our IDE, which is known as IDLE and through Visual Studio Code. You can use anything. I'll try to use Visual Studio Code because it is really easy to use this. So I hope you have understood everything. If there is anything, feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next video.